believe you have made the wrong choice about the college you chose to attend, or you have completed your community college requirements and are ready to move on to complete a degree at a college or university, or you changed your major and need to move to another school to complete your degree. Transferring colleges is a decision that is not to be taken lightly, nor is it to be feared. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is the why, when, and how of college transfers. Let's start at the beginning. Why is it appropriate to transfer? That answer is up to you and your circumstances. If you are not thriving at your current school, if you are ready to make further progress on your degree, if you decide to change the focus of your education, if your family or financial circumstances change, if a traumatic experience motivates you to leave, if you left college for a time and are headed back, there are a wide variety of reasons why people transfer schools. About one third of college students transfer schools between their first day of college and their graduation. Whether or not transferring is the best answer for you is up to you and how well you read and manage your circumstances. Your transfer has to be purposeful and thoughtful. The transfer will be work, but if your intentions are clear, the change can be great for your future. The most critical components of any decision to transfer are understanding why you want to leave your old school and defining what you need from the new school. If you are leaving community college or trade school to move on to a college or university, your why makes perfect sense. You aren't leaving something behind. You are moving toward a new opportunity. Start by asking your advisor about the articulation agreements that your community college has with any school. An articulation agreement outlines the course credits that transfer to each school and helps set up the transfer process. Admissions and academic counselors representing those colleges will help you through the process. If you choose to move on from community college and apply to a college that doesn't have an articulation agreement with your school, the steps for transferring are the same as those from any college. When you are leaving a college because you are uncomfortable or have changed financial status or academic goals, the first step is to diagnose why you need to leave and to evaluate that issue honestly. Be specific, clear, and open to information that may not be comfortable or complimentary about you. Once you know why you are leaving, it is easier to avoid those situations in the new school and will let you move toward a college that will make your future more promising. The next question is the when. If you are to transfer before you have a year or 30 credit hours at your current school, your high school transcript and test scores will weigh heavily in the application process. Your application will also reflect your time in college. If you leave after more than a year, your high school record will be involved in the application. However, your college performance will carry more weight. If you leave after two years or more, your college experience will inform the admission decision. Each college will state a maximum number of transfer credits that they will accept. If you have exceeded that number of hours and still wish to transfer, you may end up sacrificing credit hours that you have earned, but won't be counted at your new school. It must also be noted that schools manage transfer applications separate from freshman admissions. Many colleges have a very low transfer acceptance rate. Do your research to find a school that matches your needs and your qualifications. Then apply to more than one college to give yourself options as you receive acceptances or denials and find out more about the costs and policies of those schools to which you have applied. Now it is time to start the how. Begin with a search for the schools to which you wish to apply. You need to determine if the school has the academic program you want to study. If the college offers the services you need to be successful. If the school accepts transfer students, and if they do, what is their transfer acceptance rate? What is the school's transfer process? Do they utilize the common application for transfers? The common application works much the same for transfer students as it does for freshman admissions. You can apply to multiple transfer schools with one application. Do they have added questions for their application? Is there an interview associated with the transfer application process? 
study the timeline for admissions for receiving admissions decisions, and most importantly, determine if the potential new schools help you avoid the circumstances that led you to want to transfer out of your current school. Then there are some admissions to do's you need to complete, like making sure you know how to get a transcript sent to support your applications, and trying to have at least one recommendation that comes from a professor, advisor, or staff member of your current college. You also want to craft a positive message about why you wish to attend a new college. Highlight what you want to gain from the new school. Talk to your current academic advisor to ask their recommendations for how to cross hurdles you may face and hear them express any concerns you need to address through the transfer process. For example, if your GPA is average or less, would it be advantageous for you to stay in the current college one more term to earn a strong GPA and set the trend line in a positive direction? You also may need to align the courses you take in your current college so the credits will transfer to a new college if you perform well academically. Then do the work you need to determine the financial implications transferring will have on your education. Will any of your private scholarships travel with you to the new school? Have you registered your potential new schools with your FAFSA account? Do the schools to which you wish to apply offer access to any funding? Next, have a conversation with admissions and academic counselors at the schools receiving your application to make sure you understand the credit transfer process and how it will affect your educational outcome. How many credits will transfer? How many will not? How will the new school handle your existing GPA? If you are applying to a school that has rejected your application in the past, ask the campus representatives if the academic and activities record you have gained in your current college is strong enough to make you competitive in this admissions go-round. Now it is time to start applying. Make sure you complete all the application forms, arrange for all high school, college, test scores, recommendations, and financial records to be sent with the applications, and then pay the application fee. Highlight the activities and involvements you have had while in your current college. Be early with your applications. As you prepare to leave your current college, maintain your grades at the highest level possible. Remain involved in organizations and activities. Do everything you can to get the most out of that educational experience and leave a positive reputation in that college. As with freshman applications, completing the paperwork takes time and focus. The applications need to reflect who you are and what you hope to gain from that school. You must put your best foot forward. Do all the research you can to make sure your new school is a great fit. Ask lots of questions, visit campus, research the school's transfer policies, and spend time figuring out just what you want and need out of your new college. Once you have studied your why, when, and how of college transfer, you can focus on the next steps in your education. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.